Earth has endured countless asteroid impacts throughout its history, and even today, small ones continue to strike every year. In 2024 alone, several small asteroids have hit our planet. For example, asteroid 2024KQ2 and asteroid 2024JM2 both entered Earth's atmosphere, burning up before causing any significant damage. These types of impacts are not rare, they happen every year, but most of the time the asteroids are small enough to disintegrate before reaching the ground. For context, the Chelyabinsk event in 2013, when a large asteroid exploded over Russia, was a rare but powerful reminder of what a larger object can do. Fortunately, most asteroids that hit Earth are small, burning up in the atmosphere, and causing little to no harm. But how do scientists assess the risk posed by asteroids? Enter the Torino Scale. This is a scale used to evaluate the likelihood of an asteroid hitting Earth and the potential damage it could cause. It ranges from 0 to 10, with 0 meaning no risk, 1 meaning a low likelihood of impact. 2 to 4 indicating a closer or more concerning flyby, 5 to 6 signifying potential impacts, and 7 to 10 marking higher levels of concern. So when you hear about an asteroid with a Torino score, that number tells you just how seriously scientists are taking its trajectory. This brings us to a recently discovered asteroid that has non-zero odds of hitting Earth. And no, it's not a Palfis, but rather a new space rock, that has recently entered the radar of planetary scientists. And as of now, it has a one in 83 chance of hitting Earth. Welcome to territory, this is your space. The only asteroid ever to have a higher score on the Torino scale was 99942, a POFIS. It briefly had a rating of four on the Torino scale in late 2004. This sparked concern and earned it the nickname Doomsday Asteroid. But the asteroid is now just a zero on the Torino scale, which means that it has a negligible risk of impact for at least a century. However, on December 25, 2024, under the watchful gaze of the Atlas Asteroid Impact Early Warning System, a new cosmic wanderer made its grand entrance. Asteroid 2024, YR4, streaked into view, its path captured by telescopes stationed across Hawaii, Chile, and South Africa. The asteroid is about 150 feet or 50 meters wide, comparable to the length of a commercial airliner or the height of a 15-story building. As of January 27, 2025, this space rock has a 1 in 83 chance of hitting Earth in 2032 and currently holds a Torino scale rating of 3. What we need to note here is that, at this time, it is the only asteroid with a rating above 0. However, as we saw with Apophis, an asteroid score on the Torino scale is likely to change as astronomers gather more data of the object and track its motion around the Sun. As of now, an object like 2024 YR4, with a Torino scale rating of 3, falls into the yellow category. And with the current data astronomers have on the asteroid, they estimate not just one possibility for impact in 2032, but seven possibilities between 2032 and 2079, with the first possible impact date being December 22nd, 2032. Again, as more observations come in, this information is subject to change. But what if asteroid 2024 YR4 were to strike Earth? Calculations suggest that if it were to strike Earth, asteroid 2024 YR4 wouldn't end life on Earth as we know it, as it's not large enough to do that. But it could be locally destructive, depending on where it hits. The impact could be comparable to the 1908 Tunguska event, where a powerful explosion, estimated between 3 and 50 megatons, occurred over Siberia, flattening approximately 80 million trees across 830 square miles of forest. Scientists, however, believe that the observation of the asteroid is still in its early days and that more telescopic data will most likely lead to a reassignment of its Torino scale value to level zero. In fact, most newly listed asteroids on the Torino scale initially show a rising impact probability as observations refine their paths until the risk drops to zero. The same is likely for asteroid 2024 YR4. The challenge is that with just seven years until its close approach to Earth, the asteroid is moving into a position where astronomers won't be able to observe it for nearly three years. At the moment, the asteroid is exceedingly faint at magnitude 23, and it is expected to continue to dim throughout February until it leaves our view. So let's ask the big question. 
What if future observations confirm that asteroid 2024 YR4 is on a collision course with Earth on December 22, 2032? First, the potential impact is still years away. Plus, we've already tested our ability to deflect an asteroid. In 2022, NASA's double asteroid redirection test successfully struck Dimorphos, a moon of an asteroid, demonstrating planetary defense in action. Notably, Dimorphos was much larger than 2024 YR4, measuring 525 feet across. So if 2024 YR4 does pose a threat, we're at least somewhat prepared. What do you guys think? Drop in your comments to let me know. Meanwhile, the James Webb Telescope has spotted 138 tiny new asteroids in the asteroid belt, some of which could drift towards Earth. Astronomers, using a new analysis of James Webb Space Telescope images, have discovered a surprisingly large number of small, main-belt asteroids. This discovery could alter estimates of Earth's impact rates from objects ranging in size from a house to a stadium. While calling something the size of a stadium might seem massive, but in the vastness of our solar system, it's merely a grain of sand. But that's not all, though. The Webb Telescope also focused its attention on a mysterious asteroid-comet hybrid, lurking past Jupiter, and its properties are unlike anything we have ever seen before. A new analysis of archival Webb Telescope data has revealed an unexpectedly large population of asteroids ever seen in the asteroid belt, between Mars and Jupiter. The newly discovered asteroids, however, range from the size of a bus to several stadiums, small compared to the colossal space rock that caused the dinosaur's extinction, yet still capable of delivering a powerful impact. These asteroids strike Earth 10,000 times more often than their larger counterparts, but their small size makes them difficult for surveys to detect early. A team of scientists from the Massachusetts Institute of Technology made this discovery by repurposing Webb's observations of the TRAPPIST-1 star and while doing so, uncovered a population of small asteroids in our asteroid belt. I know what you are thinking. Do these newly discovered space rocks pose a threat to Earth? Well, larger main belt asteroids orbiting between Mars and Jupiter typically stay in stable paths. In contrast, smaller ones are more often nudged by gravitational forces, potentially sending them into the inner solar system as potential impact threats. The discovery of at least five times more small objects in the main belt than anticipated may influence estimates of how often such impacts occur. JWST is particularly good at finding asteroids because they're much brighter at infrared wavelengths, and these asteroid findings fill a crucial gap in understanding the origins of meteorites and larger asteroids that could pose a threat to Earth. According to the new study, Future JWST observations will target 15 to 20 distant stars for at least 500 hours, potentially uncovering thousands more small asteroids in our solar system. This will surely help put our planetary defense in a much better place. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Meanwhile, the James Webb Telescope has turned its focus to a peculiar space rock located between Jupiter and Neptune. This strange centaur, known as 2060 Chiron, exhibits characteristics of both comets and asteroids. Chiron orbits the Sun about once every 50 years, traveling in an oblong loop in the region between Jupiter and Neptune. The team found carbon dioxide and methane gases in its coma, the cloud of gas and dust, around the nucleus. Astronomers also detected water ice and lightweight carbon-containing molecules like ethane and propane for the first time on a centaur. These results are like nothing we've seen before, study co-author Charles Shambo said in a statement. Detecting gas comae around objects as far away from the sun as Chiron is very challenging, but JWST has made it accessible. Objects like Chiron haven't changed much since the solar system first formed, so observing how they interact could help scientists better understand the early solar system, said another scientist. However, Chiron, like all centaurs, is currently in a transitional state and its ultimate fate will unfold over the next million years. It may either be drawn back into the inner solar system by Jupiter's gravitational influence, transforming into a Jupiter family comet with an orbital period of less than 20 years, or it could be ejected back into the Kuiper belt, cast out by the gatekeeper Jupiter. While the outcome remains uncertain, much like its namesake from Greek mythology, its future rests in the hands of the universe.